today on Mod Shapes, we find out the practical side of 3D printing. Can we print our own hardware? So this is hardware to hang our art with. Right. So sometimes what happens is I use these silicone molds, make the artwork, and then I have to add the hardware after, which means I have to hammer or bang or put some, insert some metal piece into the resin. It might crack. It might break. Right, so we thought about try printing it directly on there or adding it. We built a frame, all right. Mm -hmm. This is a 3D printed frame. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we put uh, pilot holes into the design. Yes. But in order to get the pilot holes just right, I actually had to build a little 3D version of this hardware. Right. Remember what happened? Yeah, I remember the consequences of printing it. It came off the printer great, but then, you know, it broke when I tried to use it. It was just simply too brittle. Um, I think you're right. Question number one. Can we print our own OOK hardware? Answer? Yeah, not really. Question number two, can we pre-design a piece of plastic to store resin art in that has pilot holes so that we don't have to hammer into our artwork? I think that has a lot of potential. It worked. I mean, you know, it came out pretty good. There were a few small flaws, mm -hmm. but uh, the result was sufficient. I think it looked really, really good. I like how the back of it kind of, and the tape kind of created this opaque mm -hmm. look to it. The very front of it was very shiny, very clear. And I think that worked really well because when you hang it up, the, the backlight really comes through, but not the texture. Right. of the wall. So it adds a nice little backdrop color to it. And I really like how it came out. Um, there was some wrinkles in it and that's some tape itself, but it kind of adds this organic feeling to it. I really like it. The only thing that I would hope that would be different is, as you can see here, there there's some opaqueness. That is because when I pulled the tape off, it left some residue and I had to actually scrape quite a bit of sticky residue off acetone. But the end result is not bad at all. I like it. I really like it. And you, know, you, you use the uke to, uh, you nailed the uke into the back of it here. And I like, it actually looks really nicely uh, how it blends in. And it's strong enough there to not be too brittle. Right. So it actually worked very well there. You know, I can't help but look at this and go, hello. <laughs> because it kind of looks like a, like a, a little bit like a, a, cell phone. <laughs> a cell phone. Yes, ocean calling. Hello, Mr. Octopus. <laughs> I, so where are we going to hang it? Oh, it's a beautiful place. And another thing that would be really fun with this, I bet if you use different colors of the frame, uh -huh. uh, it might add some different, like a kind of a hue or tint to the clearness of the piece. 